And those buddy heaters, they don't do well in the cold weather, freeze very easy. Thank you, visit. Oh. Yeah, not ready yet. Brings uh, an unfortunate end to the trip. What's up, bud? Douglas, how are you? You want to show us around? Oh, is this uh, lifestyles of the rich and shameless? <laughs> the poor and shameless. <laughs> the poor and shameless. Uh, so this is uh, the eight man. Yeah, we got her set up. No, well, we don't sorry. quite have it set up yet. No, but. sorry. The hot up. <laughs> Our stuff's not set up yet, and we got it connected to the four man outside too. We got two huts together, just to give us a little bit more room. So the one thing we noticed is when we did our overnight in Fairbanks, we just didn't have like we had everything in this hotty dog and it was really cramped with, yeah, with the both with both cots, fishing, with food, heaters. We just didn't have any room at all. Like I mean we couldn't even sit in a chair, which was kinda you know, after a while sitting in a cot wasn't the greatest. So I brought out the four men and we connected it. I know it's kinda <laughs> it's pretty rough looking with the tape here, but yeah. you know what? It does it does do the job. And we'll be running two heaters, one on each side. And, yeah, so you uh, got your buddy heater. Yeah, I got the buddy heater. Well, that, right. That's hooked up to a 25 pound tank, right? Yeah, I got that sitting outside. And yeah, and you'll have the uh, the one pound bottles. Yeah, it's here. a little bit of a, I got I four one pound bottles, so should be good uh, for, the, for the night. The one thing I wanted to switch over is uh, the one pound bottles. Like, I mean, I just, um, it's very frustrating when you get up in the night and you got to change it. And I've been there by myself fiddling around with them and it's not fun. And those buddy heaters, they don't do well in the cold weather. They freeze very easy. Yeah. I found that out when I was up in Wawa. So. Right on. So over here. Yeah. So, so this will be uh, so my quarters for the night? This is your, uh, your quarters for the night over here. And this is the four man clam over here. That was the eight man for Bell over there. So, and you'll uh, maybe show a shot of it later after you got everything set up. Frost still sitting on the, we got no heat in, on this side yet, but. Uh, and yeah, so we got. We got the eight man on this side, and this is the four man. So a little bit set up here. We're gonna drill a hole right about there. Now Jamie's set up over here. No, he's got a little bit more room than I do, but I'm, I'm a guest here. This is Jamie. <laughs> Jamie wasn't going to give up his eight man. I got a little bit more shit to carry around. Yeah. We're going to have a cooker going in here later too for some food. Yeah, I just uh, I had to kick the door open here a little bit. I I didn't want to. I, I went against uh, what my biggest pet peeve is, is firing up the ice auger inside the hut, which I can't stand doing. Normally I'll drill my holes and then set it up. I came out last night and I just, I got the huts up kind of late and I didn't have any holes drilled until just now, so. Save us a lot of work today though. So yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Very much. You got the fish finder going? Yeah, I just fired it up there. Got the uh, Garmin Striker 4, as you saw, and Jamie explained to you in the last video. Yeah, we kind of made a point this year of, well, 2020 and uh, into 2021 that we would do some different types of camping. So we canoe camped, uh, we truck tent camped. Uh, you know, now we're camping. Uh, you know in a nice hut again so we're just trying to do some different stuff and and enjoy enjoy life and in these times that we're living in it's great to get out in the outdoors and get in the fresh air and just enjoy things we're having fun so next step is catching a fish this has been a little bit of a problem <laughs> and i'm taking the blame for that because uh, it always seems to not happen when i'm around <laughs> however uh again we're gonna try to <laughs> try to go uh go big maybe or go you know home it is? maybe maybe it's like the, the shutout in hockey or the no-hitter in baseball. I mean, we shouldn't be talking about it. Yeah, maybe I should just shut up about it. Well, we're going to be here for 24 hours, really. So Maybe that's going to be fun. 24 hours in and out. Yeah. So if we're here that long, we're, we're giving it a really good opportunity. And Jamie's son-in-law and Jamie have both fished here and had some luck. I'll roll a, a couple pictures here. So, you know, to prove there are fish here. <laughs> and, well, it'll, it'll probably either dispel the uh, notion that I'm jinxed or... It'll uh, prove that I am, actually. That's a little bit different minnow bucket, Jamie. So, here's the deal. <laughs> I have an aerator bucket, 
that I actually paid half decent money for them because they're not cheap. Anybody that has an aerator bucket, aerator buckets are great because they uh, keep your minerals alive for an extended amount of period of time. But the problem is with the aerator bucket is that they leak and they leak terribly. Especially when you're coming across the lake. Um, I had it in my sleigh and it, it was always leaking and then I end up with ice in the bottom of my sleigh and everything's kind of wet and frozen and kind of moving around. So uh, I said there's got to be somewhere better, better way but you, uh, any minnow bucket out there, they all leak, every single one of them. Uh, very rare will you find a bucket that doesn't. So, I just, I had this old Coleman thermos that I wasn't using. It was just sitting there. Actually, it was my dad's. And I thought, you know what, I got a great big one that we use for camping or whatever. So, I just threw my minnows in here. This seals airtight. And uh, it works awesome. I had it in the sled and I came across the lake. You know, problem solved, didn't leak or nothing, so it's really good. So, and the one thing I did get smarter about is I said for years I was gonna get a little minnow net, and I never, and I never ever had one. But last time I was out fishing, I actually put my hand in and grabbed a minnow, and I wasn't thinking, and I was outside, and uh, I got the cuff of my jacket wet, and you, you, that, it was it was so uncomfortable for the rest of the day. So, uh, look at that, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do this years ago. I felt good yesterday that, you know, we'd catch some fish and, and i get off the off the snide. Uh, it was nice catching the, that little uh, rainbow trout. But, you know, we got some really good fish, good sized fish here and, man, that's what we want to catch. So, I'm hopeful, I'm very hopeful. I'm, we're trying, we're trying hard and we're pulling out all the stops on this one. <laughs> Sun come out. Man, it's nice and warm. <laughs> Instead of minus 20, it's minus 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's Northern Ontario. Yeah. But you know what? It's 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 the wind on the lake. If that wind kicks up in a few minutes there, you'll see me. Oh, running. yeah. But when the wind is down, it's not bad. gonna freeze over real quick out here so I just cut open some styrofoam real quick and uh, I'm just gonna leave that right there to try and not have it freeze over so fast a little insulation so my line is still a little loose there and yeah it's it's still gonna freeze over if I don't check it within an hour or two but at least it won't freeze over then like what did I cut that hole what 15 minutes ago yeah it already it froze, froze over, over so yeah, this will slow it down a little bit. You gonna put a bell on that one? I will, yeah. Yeah. We have a sucker on here. Nice size sucker with a gorge hook through it. So we're hoping to get something. Substantial. Yeah. So uh, the striker's showing us we got some uh, fish down there, bud? Yeah, they came to uh, check out and see what's going on. Like I say, you can see them whether they bite or not. Well. That's, that's a whole that's, other yeah, story. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, they're, they're definitely down there. We're hopeful. Yep. Got some action here. Yeah, bud. Oh, you're so quiet. I am? Yeah. Well, you want me to start yelling? <laughs> yeah. I want to hear the excitement in your voice. <laughs> Does it feel big? Not bad. Not bad. Oh, a little bit of a little bit of action. Come on, baby. Oh, nice little pike. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, it's, it's a nice pike. Right on. Oh. Yeah, not ready yet. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. She's a nice pike. Sweet. Yeah, now to get its head through the hole. There we go. 
That's a nice size. Yep. You just need a big fella. Yep, that's a good one. That's a nice one. Beauty. Beauty, James. Thanks, buddy. Well done. Now, I'm going to have to get the pliers out because he inhaled her, buddy. Let's get a good shot of that. Man, I think the jinx is over. Beauty. Nice one, buddy. Yeah, nice one. Kind of dog. It's probably the fluffy thing. Kim, say hi. Hi, Doug. This is Jamie's wife, Kim. She came to visit. <laughs> and this is Ty. He came to visit too. <laughs> it's actually a nice time of night. Yeah, it's really nice. Here, Ty. Ty. Alright, driver uh, visitor's home, bud. Is that? So driver visitor's home. Yeah. Safely. Take your time. Jamie, what's for uh what's for supper? Oh hey Doug! What's going on, <laughs> brother? I, I heard uh once again uh, a, a strong rumor. What did you hear? That uh we're having some of uh, your famous ice hut chili. Because you're a sucker for punishment. <laughs> this better this better go down uh oh. Well, it'll go down without any uh, issues later. It will go down. Right. Uh, I I eased off on the uh, chilies, Peppa. So I only put a little bit in there. So yeah, because I know it's uh, that. it upsets your tummy. This is uh, we well, got mushrooms in there. The nice. medium ver. Well, you, hey, you gotta have mushrooms, man. Lovely. Yeah, mushrooms great. Actually, to tell you the truth, what I should have did is uh, a long time ago I had chili and I had celery in it. Oh yeah, you know what? It was really good. Actually. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I but I that. keep forgetting about putting chili, uh, celery in it. But one of these days. But yeah, this is just the toned down version. But it's nothing better than chili when you're out fishing, especially when it's uh, minus twenty. Yeah, today we're on Lake Fukawi, and uh, like I say, we're uh, gonna have some chili and a few beverages. What are you looking at there? I don't know. I'm confused. It seems to be that uh, when I put my utensils in the bag and I pulled them out, I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> uh, truth be told, uh, a fine young gentleman, Tracy Phillips, sent us this contraption, <laughs> and uh, this is the you got one too there in your yeah. Hands. This is like the coolest, <laughs> biggest spork ever. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a bigger bag to carry this thing around. But uh, yeah, so like I can, when I've had a few drinks and I want to get into my food, I can kayak through my food. Because <laughs> I could actually probably kayak my canoe with this. Now Tracy, to be fair, Tracy did mention that it was uh, more of a novelty item than an actual real world use yeah. item. But Very well done, Tracy. Thank you very much. Uh, I will hang this uh, in my spoon rack, which I don't own at home. <laughs> it's uh, cool. Very cool. I will show a lot of people this contraption it's appreciated yeah so i can like i'll be like oh i'll take a few of those thanks so much tracy really appreciate that brother this is definitely going to get into the uh, those uh mountain house bags that's for damn sure and uh tracy was nice enough to send not only this but he sent um uh something that i've been wanting to try for the longest time and it's uh it's from Acadian IMP and it's date squares. He also sent uh, a couple of uh, meal cold weathers and like unbelievable. Tracy, you're one hell of a man and it's really, really appreciated. Anyways, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna quickly uh, open it up. Yeah, check that out. The chili was delicious. That should be.
There it is. Jamie? Yes, sir. Grab that. Oh my god. Right in the oven. Right into the oven. Definitely something did hit it. It moved from here to there. And I told you I did hear I did hear it. We were in there moving around. I'm like, I heard a bell. Yeah. But then I thought, okay, maybe it was, you know, I could feel it bouncing off bottom. That's good. Right on. False alarm. Cool night. There's my buddy heater in between uh, Jamie's buddy heater and his uh, deep fryer burner. Trying to save on the uh, one pound bottle, so I left it on the ground for an hour and a half i guess uh, it froze so we're trying to we're trying to uh melt whatever's frozen and i'm just you know questioning the whole buddy heater system given the fact that you know if you're sleeping and your bottle runs out and you don't wake up right away you're dealing with uh you know something that's not going to work which is really shitty so not impressed not impressed and uh Jamie's had his own struggles with uh, his buddy heater. Well, uh, Jamie, you got it going. Can you uh, kind of explain what you did there to kind of Jimmy rig this thing into work? Yeah, so waterproof matches. Don't leave the home without them. Push the pile light down, light a match, put the match down there and keep the pile light held down with the match in place. Because what it does, is it's still trying to like, that itself will thaw everything out and it's, it gets going. And then if you have it in there long enough, it took me two matches actually. Then I was able to actually hold off, let it go, let the pilot light going, but with the match, and then I was able to give it a gas, and then got it lit. So we're in business. Yeah, for now. Yeah, let's hope for the best. This is a little after 3 a.m. Uh, my buddy heater conked out. I had to change tanks, and uh, it worked for a little bit, and then it conked out again. The uh, fryer basin, uh, that tank ran out. Uh, we didn't know <clears throat> how long that would last anyways, and it... And conked out so we're down to one buddy heater and that's just not enough for two of us and this area so uh we decided to uh play it safe before something went really bad and you know we had no form of heat and we started packing up while we still had uh you know a little bit of heat to give us some dexterity in our hands and stuff to, to get our stuff packed up it brings uh an unfortunate end to the trip jamie what <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we were uh, we we're happy to catch. Uh, at least we caught a fish, which was great, and uh, a nice pike. And uh, we should have left her after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, we could have. You get out there, that's what happens. Stuff like this comes up. Yep, and you just got to be smart about it. And the curveball comes out, yeah, you got to be ready to hit it. That's right. You got to make decisions that sometimes you don't want to make. You don't want to yeah. leave. We tried hard. We were. We had talked you know about what? leaving last night. When it gets this cold out, you, you really can't push your luck that as much as we did. We pushed it as much as we could. Tried to go as hard as we could and, and stay uh, the full night, but it didn't work out. And what are you going to do? Hey. Anyways, we caught a nice fish, and that's uh, the main thing. We'll get out ice fishing again soon. And uh, we had fun. Regardless, we always have a good time, and we make the best of it. So, Anyways, uh, we're on all the socials. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And give us a like. And... Uh, Take care of yourselves, be safe, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Right on. Right on. <laughs>